Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are back in the Cleveland and we've got a couple guests on the enemy team. Namely, MV Retro and Radar Hopper. Now I'll be honest, uh, Winter Smith as well is with them. Uh, I, I'll be real honest, I, I don't know who Winter Smith is and Radar Harp Hopper is not really ringing a bell to me, but I definitely know MV Retro. So uh, we're going to push over to the left side here and uh, we are going to be the absolute bane of everybody's existence. Now, you'll notice that they're in Yamato and they have a destroyer escort in uh, the Lightning. Now, I'm not going to lie, I'm going to be playing this one extremely safe. Why? Because Yamato. <laughs> I do not want to get into an open water engagement with Yamato if I can avoid it. So... I've got some islands over here, and I'm going to make a land grab early to try to take it. Now, luckily, uh, the enemy destroyer is not going to do his team much favor here. Now, I apologize if, if, if you're watching. You probably are. Uh, but just as, you, as a uh, warning, I'm going to be saying that this was kind of your fault. <laughs> uh, so, I'm in a Cleveland. What is Cleveland known for? Extreme rates of fire. Let's be real. The, the volume and the rate of fire of this thing is ridiculous. Now, you couple that with the fact that you can set fires like nobody's business because of the volume and the rate of fire. And what you end up with is an absolute mess for the enemy team. And uh, Retro gets to be the uh, first recipient. So, without further ado, let's get the fire started. Let's throw a Retro on the Barbie, shall we? <laughs> now, he fires at us, but we've got an island here to protect most of us. So uh, we're not too particularly worried, though, yeah, we, we managed to get away with it for now. But we did set a fire right there, and he is going to uh, be mostly untouchable from here. And you can see I can't quite finish shooting over the island. But I'm heading up to the island that's to my right there. That is the island that I need, because that island is low enough that I can shoot over it. Now, as soon as I start firing on these guys, you can see I, I initially was going to go for the back Yamato, and then I'm like, no, we got to go ahead, go with uh, Retro, because I know he's already, uh, he's, he's on fire, he hasn't burned his damage con yet, but he will, you know, if we keep setting him on fire. And then we can set him on fire some more, because that's the way you kill Yamato as a light cruiser. <laughs> it's just how it goes. Uh, I'm not going to be firing AP at a Yamato. Uh, even if I can get some plunging fire on him, it's just not a good good look for my Cleveland. But we do get another fire on him. Uh, he he does, unfortunately, let the first fire burn out. And as soon as I start getting this fire here, um, I do believe he's going to be forced to use his his damage control. I could be wrong. Lightning gets spotted early, uh, thanks to our cruiser and our Yamato pushing straight forward. They're taking the inside, I'm taking the long-range support roll. Now, unfortunately, because I'm taking the long-range support roll, I can't really do a whole lot about the lightning. It just takes too long for my rounds to get to them. It's almost impossible for me to hit them at this point. So I go back to trying to roast uh, Mr. Retro, who is currently burning twice. And uh, he must have used his damage con at some point. I missed it. But, uh, yeah, he's definitely burning. And you'll see I get some nasty server lag here. Like, for at least a solid like five six seconds of just nasty lag for no reason it was driving me crazy um, but it happens and you can see i go back to trying to support the team trying to help with that lightning and i just can't lead enough or guess he's kind of going in circles but uh, he's not long for this world our, our cruiser and our yamato is about to mop him up just a matter of time uh, but we go back to firing on our uh, friend Retro here, who has no fire burning currently, but that's about to change because, oh yeah, this is this is the volleys that just for whatever reason we're like, no, we're not going to allow you to hit him. Like, it doesn't look like he's moving a whole lot. I'm assuming he's still like coasting a little bit, but like for whatever reason the game is just like, no, I, I want to land right next to him. I don't want to land on his ship. But then it starts landing on a ship <laughs> and I'm like, okay, we're, we're good. The game has somehow managed to fix itself, but uh, yeah, that was that was a bit annoying. Not gonna lie, but unfortunately for Retro, he's he's not long for this world. I mean, as soon as I can, ooh, he gets punched. Now that being said, if you're ever in this position, okay, 
and you're you're against a guy who has had all of his health burned away from him, and you are closing to this distance, expect a rim. What are you doing? <laughs> and of course, Retro doing what Retro should do. He manages to ram the uh, friendly Yamato, taking him out, which was actually a great play by Retro because, I mean, he had nothing else going for him. You might as well take one with you. So he took out our, our Yamato, and about this time I was starting to feel some type of way because we lost everybody that was over here. Now, the, fortunately, the enemy Alaska gets spotted by our battleship that's going through the center. We had a gross occur for us going straight through the center. And uh, he's out of my range at the moment, but I'm about to get up in there and be able to touch him. Now, Alaska has had his engine knocked out. You can tell by the sparks coming from his smokestack, he can't go anywhere. Now, that being said, I'm not 100% sure he was playing to begin with. Uh, he may have been AFK, but uh, I wasn't about to take the chance. I want to get him off the board as quickly as possible because Alaska versus Cleveland, it doesn't end well for Cleveland. So we're going to try to set him on fire, get him burned down, and uh, just overall, just get him off the map. Don't want to take a chance of him doing damage to me. And we get the fire. He's not long for this world. He gets hit by the Grossa Curve first one more time, and he's about to burn down. Actually, we got the kill with the, uh, the shot that came in at the end. But we're up to 119 hits with six fires and a kill. But we're not done yet. The enemy team has three ships left. One of them is the Yamato that we have yet to touch, uh, but that's going to change very shortly. The other two are on the opposite side of the map from me. So I have no chance to affect those guys, but I do have a chance to engage a Yamato. Now, I have 36,900 hit points. I don't know how much health this Yamato has, but I'm assuming he has probably more than that. Oh, nope, maybe not. Maybe he has right around the same as I do. But either way, we're going to be setting him on fire a lot. And because he's broadside on, he's actually leaving himself open to be shit, or set on uh, or shot with AP. Good lord. Can't speak hate when that happens. We've got him on fire twice, and we're going to actually move the shots back just uh, here, see if we can't get a third fire, and we actually get a third fire, because we're a dirty, rotten scoundrel. But uh, he uses his DC. We go ahead, fire AP, just to test. He's basically broadside on, and we get a pretty decent result. Not an amazing result, but decent. And we switch back to HE, try to set the fire, we get the immediate fire. And we go back to AP to try to shoot the superstructure this time, and a much better result with the AP this time. Now, this is where I every fiber of my being says turn in. But the rest of me knows that if I don't, I can get overpinned by the Yamato. And so I set him on fire some more, and my secondaries, of all things, managed to finish off the uh, Yamato for a close quarters expert on a Yamato <laughs> with a Cleveland. Who'd have thunk it? <laughs> I sure wouldn't have. I never saw that coming. But uh, we're not in range to help with the enemy Cleveland. This has been a really quick match. Uh, we've just kind of dominated this side. Our team kind of rushed straight into their, their team. and Both teams traded a lot of big ships, and that was the end of this match. There really wasn't a whole lot to it. But it showcases just how useful these islands are for anybody in a cruiser that has uh, has the ability to set fires. Like, it, it's nasty especially when you're allowed to get there but you know you can't look a gift horse in the mouth now our gross our gross occur first is like you know what i'm not going to let this cleveland get away i'm chasing him down i'm going to take away his island and i'm going to shove my ship right down his throat and then he gets spotted right out in front of me and we're going to start unloading on him got the he loaded initially and then we're going to switch for a couple rounds of ap late but uh yeah we're just Trying to get a little bit more damage. We're at 123,000. Doesn't feel like we did 123,000 damage, right? Like, that was a very quick 123,000 damage. But when you're shooting at giant battleships that can't really dodge, I mean, it's pretty easy in a fire starter to get 100 to 200,000 damage. Really, really easy. Uh, but we managed to win the match. So, uh, sorry, Retro. Sorry to uh, your pal there, uh, Hopper, Radar Hopper. We end up top of the leaderboard. And if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.